All right, so my Tabor City home here, and today we are looking at the three-way meter. So I use this to give me a pretty good estimation of, I don't really need it for moisture content, but what I use it for is for uh, pH more than anything to give me an idea of what pH is. And if you look at this meter, if you turn it over to pH, it's gonna default to right around seven, between seven and eight. Um, neutral is seven. So, um, so you can stick this thing in the ground all around your house and, and sit here and say, well, I don't know if it's moving. I don't know if it's working because it's not coming off of seven. So one of the easiest ways to test the pH meter is normal distilled vinegar. So vinegar has a pH anywhere from about 2.4 to 4, depending on. And so if you want to know if your pH meter is actually working, you can stick it in here. Now, one of the things you need to know about these meters is, number one, they get their charge from solar. That's what this little thing is right here. It's a photo cell um, that helps charge the battery. So it's going to have to be well charged. But... When you take pH on something, you don't just stick this in there and get your pH reading within a few seconds. You need to leave it sit in the ground and you stick it in there, leave it in there for a little while and come back and see kind of where it's going. So as this thing sits in this vinegar, we ought to see the pH continue to lower and lower and lower and lower. And as you can see, if we take it out, it goes right back to eight. It's out of the vinegar, stick it back in the vinegar. It's going right back to where it was. And it'll keep working its way down and down and down. So if you want to see if your pH meter is, is just stuck on 8 or if it's actually working, one of the best ways to test that is just get some white household vinegar, stick the pH meter in the vinegar. And if you can, just let it sit there for a while and come back. Uh, if you leave it in vinegar and you've got a good strong vinegar, you should find it flat lined out as low as the setting as it'll get because the lowest these things get is about 3.5 and it might be on anywhere from 4 to 3.5 but you know and the more of the uh, uh, probes here that you can have actually subjected in there the better it's going to be you see we've got that down there and we're right around 4 to 3.5 in this vinegar and it's because you know we've got full contact with it as soon as you take it back out of the vinegar it's going to go back okay so that is one way to test out a pH meter to see if the pH is actually working or if your meter is broke. You're just using a household vinegar, all right? So, my table City home. Hope all of you guys with these three-way meters, uh, that kind of helps you. And, you know, let's get out here and do some gardening. So.